The following contest is a two out of three falls match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 396 pounds. Plenty of star power in this tag team match, guys, Aldo. wouldn't you say? Absolutely, and Michael. In fact, if you ask me, all Aldo. four of these competitors have what it takes to be top single stars here in the WWE. At a combined weight of 1,280 pounds, the Atunga, the Mastodon, and Atunga, the Mastodon. Both legal men are in the ring. And wow. since we start things off here, we're ready to go. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag oh, wow. team action at its finest, fellas. Oh, oh, the face. That's gonna hurt. Uh -oh. At the all. Oh, Ooh, what impact. Oh, damage to the body. Team matches dangerously oh, close to getting out of control for him. He's not Our looking hand. good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Boom, what impact! During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, 
the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Boom! <laughs> Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have... Look at this. Digging deep for a kick out. He's not giving up that easy. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Gets the tag. Now, that'll do some serious damage. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's looking a little weary here. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag Damn. soon. This is not the time to be a hero. To keep this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him. Ooh, what impact. your opponent this capacity Jeez. crowd starting to sense the end is near and i don't disagree unless this thing turns around here this tag team match is all but over he's clearly outmatched outside the ring guys if he's smart he finds a way to keep the action within the ropes from here on out yeah things certainly appear to be trending in the wrong direction for him right now guys he might have nailed it but he's got to capitalize now oh continuing to punish them Game, set, match, this one is over. I think a visit to the chiropractor's in order after that one. I know a guy. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Looking at it here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Look out, look out. This could be it. Beautiful technique. Now it's time to capitalize. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win, no trouble getting out of that one. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. Resourceful. 
in off the tag. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. Draped on the apron, point of the elbow, nailed it. Here we go, back inside the ring. Here he goes. Interesting decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. Elbow drop. Piercing. Exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. The shoulders are down. He's not looking good here. His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believed anything that comes out of you. It's make or break time here, and he absolutely... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Ooh, what impact. He's making a statement here with this attack. What a strike. Right on the mark. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You've got to believe this one's over. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Look at him go. He's getting after it here. He ain't playing here. No doubt about it, he brought his A game, as you can see here. Here are your winners, Atunga the Mastodon and Atunga the Mastodon. Guys, I don't think there was any other alternative but to tap there. I knew these two were a great team. I just didn't know how great. Wow, they really impressed me out here. Folks, you're just tuning in. You just missed one of the greatest tag team matches I've seen in years.